Mm, hello and welcome to the SWEP product presentation here at the IGS HPA or IGSPA in Kansas City 2015. My name is Adam Dahlquist and I'm business development manager here at SWEP in the US. First, I'd like to show you a condensed version of what is important of this presentation. SWEP has been making brace plate heat exchangers since 1983. Now, SWEP has a production capacity of excess of 3 million heat exchangers per year and the capacity range is from half inch to six inch. More than 1.8 million of these heat exchangers have been installed in heat pumps since the beginning of 19, 1983. And less than 0.1% of the heat exchangers fail during the lifetime of, of the heat pump. The most of these heat exchangers has been installed in Europe, but tenth of thousands of them have also been installed here in the US. SWEP tried to enter the, uh, the ground source heat pump market in the beginning of the, of the 2000, but it didn't go so well, mainly due to the lack of, of uh, knowledge of how the uh, uh, US type reversible heat pump works and the, the use of ROM products. Today SWEP has acquired the knowledge on, uh, on how to optimize heat exchanges for the reversible ground source heat pump and have the right products to do so. SWEP has production sites in six countries around the world, including a, uh, a brand new factory in Tulsa, to, uh, which was opened in 2014. So SWEP has the experience, the knowledge and the product range to make your heat pump more efficient, smaller, with a smaller uh, footprint compared to the heat exchanger technology that you're using now. And we are in the SWEP booth here at 3435 at XPA if you want any more info. SWEP is a US owned Swedish based braced plate heat exchanger manufacturer. Um, SWEP is part of the Dover Corporation, a, uh, a multi million dollar diversified manufacturer that is also traded on the New York Stock Exchange. SWEP was established in 1983 and now have more than 900 employees in more than 30 countries. The SWEP Global Presence. SWEP has three factories in uh, Europe, Sweden, Slovakia and Switzerland. And we have in Asia, we have in Kuala Lumpur and Suju. And in the on the U.S. continent, we have we have a production facility since the uh, since 1996, wh which was moved to Tulsa in 2013. And 2014, we had a fully operational modern uh, production facility uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The uh, there is also a logistics center where with the possibility to reach the uh, large part of the continent in, in within a few days. With the setup of, of SWEP, it's possible for us to serve a market locally and have a global reach. SWEP is a producer of brace plate heat exchangers only. We uh, constantly develop our core competences uh, by simulating new plate patterns, uh, building them digitally inside uh, our simulation software and analyzing them by CFD and other me methods, uh, designing and, cons uh, and making our own tooling, uh, producing the heat exchangers and then ver verification them in our laboratory to make sure that it, it, the result is as expected. And of course each time we do this we become better in predicting and, uh, and simulating our heat exchangers. One of the key inventions from SWEP is the asymmetric brace plate heat exchanger. To explain that, let's start here at the symmetric heat exchanger. In the symmetric heat exchanger, the two sides of the heat exchanger have the same geometry. So the water and the refrigerant in a heat pump, they would have they would they would look the same. In an asymmetric heat exchanger, the, the two sides are optimized for the two fluids. The refrigerant side is more narrow and the water side has become more wide. And in this way, it's possible to improve the heat transfer while reducing or keeping the same the water pressure drop. With the asymmetric technology, it's possible for to SWEP 
to make more compact heat exchangers being at par with the other system components in a heat pump or by continuing with a full size envelope making them much more performing. Another core competence of SWEP is the evaporator distribution device. In an evaporator we have gas and liquid refrigerant coming in at the bottom. And if there is no or a poorly designed distribution device only a part of the heat exchanger will actually work as an evaporator. The rest will just be gas passing through. With a good distribution system the liquid and gas is equally distributed between all the channels inside the heat exchanger. The up to 90% of the heat exchanger is being actually used as a, an evaporator and there is a stable superheating at the top. SWEP has a long history in, in making distribution devices and we have distribution devices that are optimized for different refrigerant and applications and capacity ranges. And for heat pumps we have at least three different distribution devices where, that we are using to be able to reach the good, the good performance. Uh, the it's important to have a, a good distribution also to, to maintain high efficiency and to avoid the freezing risk. SWEP has more than 30 heat exchangers in our product portfolio so this is only a part of, of what we are having but these are the ones that are best for US reversible heat pumps. If we're starting down in the 0 to 6 refrigerant ton capacity we, uh, we have actually four models that we can choose from from the smallest one the B8T to the compact one the 26 that reaches up all the way up to 6 tons and we have the symmetric and asymmetric 80 size and the super efficient 85 which is the same size as the ATAS. Going higher in capacity we have the single circuits which is the uh, 120, 200, 400 reaching up well beyond 60 tons and we have the, the uh, true dual range. The true dual range uh, can al already kicks in down here at 2 times 4, 2 times 5 tons when uh, two compressors are used. The, the good thing with a, with a true dual heat exchanger is that it has two separate refrigerant circuits. So we have refrigerant circuit 1 and refrigerant circuit 2. And it's visible here in this one there is one central uh, water circuit. So the water circuit have full contact with the refrigerant side regardless if we are running on full load or part load. The double wall brace plate is a special heat exchanger with the possibility to detect internal leakage due to a small air channel between the two fluids. Um, double wall heat exchangers are typically used for as a superheater where, where you have tap water on one side and refrigerant on the other. Uh, the B16 double wall is UL approved for use for tap water heating and can withstand uh, pressures up to 650 psi. The brace plate is, is a box. It's very easy to integrate. It's, it's, like, a, it's a, like a Minecraft box, right? Uh, you can have connections on the front side and the back or the back side. We can have different types of connections. We have internally threaded, externally threaded, victolic, soldering, and the boxing size also makes it very easy to, to insulate, to find a place of, to, of the heat exchanger inside the, the heat pump, which uh, cuts down on the, on the assembly time and makes it easier to handle in the production. A product news here at the Xpa exhibition is the SWEP antifreeze system. The main reason for freezing of a, of a heat exchanger in a heat pump is due to insufficient water flow. By installing a flow switch at water inlet makes it a simple and cost-efficient antifreeze guard that immediately stops the compressor if the water goes away. The water can go away, can go away for due to a, a that the pump is not working or due to a human error and the flow switch doesn't care. If the water flow is not sufficient the uh, signal is directly sent to the control box stopping the compressor. In the SWEP and seek antifreeze system 
the uh, the CK flow switch uh, were optimized f with set points f uh, for the swap heat exchanger, making sure that there is, that it's operating always above the critical flow level, and that there is a turbulent flow inside the heat exchanger for best performance. Uh, we also designed a small manifold uh, compact to facilitate the installation of the flow switch and ensure the function of it. Um, the Sika flow switch is uses magnetic forces and no springs uh, inside the, um, uh, the housing, which makes it uh, durable for the lifetime of the heat pump. The paddle is made of glass fiber reinforced polymers, uh, which is very durable, and Sika has also been working with uh, main heat pump manufacturers in Europe uh, that, that proves its durability. So SWEP is a brace pad heat exchanger manufacturer with a factory in the US. We have the product, the knowledge and the ambition to be your best heat transfer partner for heat pumps. Welcome to talk to us to know more.